what is up YouTube? It is a new year, new year. All from last year, we've been picking up so many new things. Um, I actually picked up a lot of cool stuff today, which we'll talk about later. Um, the store has changed so much. Like if you go look at a store tour video, uh, put it right here. You can go check that one out. I think I put that one out almost a year ago, exactly. And if you go look at that, where we were at at that point, just to where we are now, it's like night and day. Uh, we were doing mainly consignment back then too. And um, now I want to say that almost 90% of everything in this store is all mine. Uh, definitely like the art and all that stuff. So it's a really good feeling and it's taken a long time, but we're going a lot of stress, a lot of whatever, but at the same time we're doing what we love, so it's dope. So I wanted to take you through just like a really quick overview of where the store's at now, what we have going, he'll pan around. Uh, well, some of the sections um, are looking pretty thin because we just went through Christmas season and all that stuff, but you can still get a good idea where we're at. So we start out the store right here. We always have cream. So uh, if you follow us on Instagram, if you don't, what are you doing? Come on right here, pop it up false on Instagram, please. Uh, we always do something where we say look in Prem's pockets. So when people come into the store, they always dig in their pockets because I'll put money in there, I'll put stickers in there. I put a shoe up in here before, tons of stuff. So whenever you come into the store, always check his pockets, kind of see what's up. By the way, check out this jacket, this Gore-Tex Supreme one. This thing is crazy. And he's got a shovel. I think he's, uh, he only charges about $20 an hour to shovel out your snow. So it might be something you might be interested in. Jordan one wall, bloom, right? We have the shattered uh, backboards. We have the 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, all right here. These Jordans aren't like any specific uh, order. The reason why we have it up here and have more expensive ones up there, obviously. And then with some of the guys, as we sell during the day, they'll throw a cheap one in there. <laughs> like, I'm not sure why that one's there or the fallen. But you know, as we go, we keep going. Don't want to skip this. So we have Supreme luggage. We have four of them. Um, kind of a cool little thing. I don't sell them. I want to keep them just as an investment piece. And I have them in the store for decoration. Um, check this out. I think, what'd you say this was, Aaron? What year? Uh, 99. So this is a 18, yeah, 99's uh, breads. I used to get a bunch of old shoes like this all the time. And I was able to like, I was, uh, got like a collection from a guy who had a bunch of old pairs and stuff. And I would always like sell them or get rid of them. And then I was seeing what these guys were doing with the pair and I thought, oh, how cool. Cause I mean, I'm giving away some really old pairs and uh, they're so cool. We have one here and then we have one over here. And so from this side, we have just a couple boards. I plan on doing like a board wall with some Supreme decks. So if you have some and you want to sell some, I'll buy them and then also I pick some up. We just don't have really an area to put them up yet. So we plan on kind of like stacking the wall up. Maybe we'll put them all up in there and up in there. That would look really cool. Um, from what you can see from the store, if we just do a really quick pan, there's really not a corner or a spot where there isn't anything. Like we have so much stuff everywhere. Probably have like a thousand plus pair of shoes and we have art everywhere. We have cards everywhere, silver everywhere. You'll see as we go. So the SB section, this is probably one of the lamest sections I have right now, I'm not gonna lie. We sold a lot of the good ones and then everything else is here. We even got some Easy Max in and like some dunks. This is like embarrassing, I'll be real. For a store that has as much stuff as we have, the SB section is lacking. So when I go to some of these events, I'm really gonna be buying heavy and SB. So we have tons of Jordan ones. We have a whole retro wall, big Easy wall. Here's Easy's right here. And then like I said, we went through Christmas and sold a bunch of kids shoes. Uh, panning this way, we have more uh, retros, kids, and stuff like that. What I did originally is we went from Jordan 1s, right, all the way from Jordan's 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, all the way through 15 on this wall. And um, we actually got a whole bunch of new stuff in. So if you check this out, we have some bare bricks in, um, the LA Hands. Actually, why don't you just shoot to that clip right now? We got the new LA Hands stuff in and a new painting. Check that out. It's crazy. Check this. Crap. So. A uh, guy I had doing consignment with me for a while, um, if you know and you've been following along, I pretty much shut all of consignment off because, you know, there's a, for me, it was kind of like a goal of consignment. I used consignment to like build the store, you know, build inventory. I didn't take any of the money off what I made from consignment and I just bought more shoes, sneakers, clothes, all that, blah, blah, right? So with that being said, um, he was one of my old consigners. Um, a guy in town that I really trust, um, honestly really look up to, um, you know, going into his house, like, I can say it now because he moved, but he had a 1996, 98 Bulls warm-up jersey right there, Michael Jordans, yeah, they only made like 30 of those during the season in a freaking thing, and if you go back to uh, Golden Ink sales for cards, when Justin Herbert's card sold for like 1.4 million, in second place, that same week in sales, uh, Jordan rookie card 
sold for four hundred and forty-four thousand. But uh, that was his card that he sold, right? So he's really into art, and like, I really trust this guy. And then um, I was watching a Two J's Kicks uh, thing with OG Slick, um, his art and all the stuff that he has, and blah blah blah, right? And same guy ends up having the original OG hands, the LA right here, which is just so sick. Like, wow. You know, like that is such a cool piece of work. Such an amazing piece of art. And we didn't have anything like this in the store. You know what I mean? Like nothing even close, you know? So not only did he have that, he comes in and he sends me a video and boom. This is called, it's not Fairfax. Another OG slick painting. Now here's the cool thing about this, right? So here's the proof and here's the painting. Um, so there were only 300 of these made, right? So if you go right here, you can see there's only 300 made. And then he did a proof. He did 20 proofs. And you can see he took a spray paint can right here and went bam. This is all by hand. Signed by OG Slick. 16 of 30. Threw in some stickers. This is a certificate of authenticity. Blah, blah, blah. So only did 20 of these proofs. So this was all done with uh, spray paint. He came in here. Boom. Sprayed that over. Yeah. I paid a lot for this stuff. And I'm going to cherish this stuff forever. This is like my very first... This is like the first real art I've freaking ever bought. Like this is, uh, this really means a lot to me. I'm like giddy right now. Like when he was taking this out, like I was like, literally like, like shaking. Like I'm so excited right now. I couldn't be happier, but, and uh, getting stuff like this in is just, uh, it's really motivating. This stuff is, it's really motivating to get stuff like this in. So thank you guys. And uh, yeah, let's check out some other stuff. Nuts, right? So it's crazy. I got a really good deal on that. Thank you so much, uh, Damon, for selling me those. It is, uh, I've never bought art before. And to buy it from an artist that like I really, really dig and have the opportunity to even get something like that really means a lot to me. So again, thank you. Um, and look up the value. Those OG white hands right here. Look how much that is. I know it's nuts. So that's what some of these are selling for. And then the 20 painting, like over there, um, I don't know, pop that up, that value up. It's kind of all over, but you can see we spent some money. So anyways, um, back to the wall uh, where we left off. We have retros 3 through 15 here. We have like some more, uh, we like to do art up top, more of the bare brick stuff, have more of those coming. Uh, 3s, 4s, um, you know, 11, 12, 13s, 11s, 4s, all this stuff. Now, essentials, V-loan, all the type of stuff that you guys like to wear for... Uh, uh, streetwear we got vape in here we've got so much stuff and like we're over done like it's winter time right now right so we've got like so many hoodies and stuff we have overflow of hoodies under here come on over here so this is one of our two grail walls um the grail walls are kind of looking thin but if you see wave over here we got uh Devin over here doing inventory how you guys doing and check it out so i mean hey. we're always adding new stuff to the grail wall obviously those are going to be going up there special box travis dunks what and uh, some other ones, I think we have all suede 11s coming up there too, so. And then coming up through here, we got some red lobsters, orange lobsters, which everybody loves these right now. They're just super dope. Coming up on Moniers, you know, we got the guava ices. These are my favorite, you know, I just always gotta be rocking those yellow ones. Um, so going up, as you can see, all the way to the Yeezy Nut Tan, which we did a video about that, or how I got that shoe. Put it right here. Go check out that video. I think I traded like 13 pairs at a sneaker con. Whoa, it was crazy in, in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, we got the best YouTube channel on right here. Always playing. If you haven't followed and like, subscribe, please do so. Bam, sneaker flavors with a Z. Put it up there. That's how we all got this. Now check this out. I got a couple cool things, right? This is a Michael Jordan three-piece set right here. It's got a wallet in it. It's got a watch in it. It's got a keychain in it. This is straight up from the 80s, y'all. Um, an encyclopedia of Jordans. It's got all those in there. Of course, you know, we got our Supreme Weedy boxes. We got our Chargers necklace. Muhammad Ali box, Reese's, uh, Kaz. Uh, shout out to um, one of you guys out there. One of the fans actually made this for us and then made another thing right here. The sneaker brothers from Zayd and I believe and his brother made one too. Super, super awesome. I want to thank you guys for dropping stuff off like this. this uh, it means more than you know when we get stuff from you guys. It's just so cool. 
a really cool pickup. We got this at, through Target.com. It was a 9.5. I think we paid like 200 bucks for it. But it's an uncirculated Michael Jordan Funko Pop. So things like this, if I see it, I'm gonna buy it. Just how like I've got like I've slowly gone from like little things like this and kind of graduating into like the the OG slick stuff, like the hands and then the paintings and stuff. Because I think you kind of just like graduate into that, you know. I'm spending a couple hundred dollars on art type stuff, and then pretty soon you start spending thousands, which you know, it's kind of cool to have to be able to do that. Um, and at the same time, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of scary to do that too. Um, but it's, you know, it's, uh, I really hope that uh, we can just keep growing, which we will. And then who knows, you know, I really, really, really want to get one of those big cost pieces. Like, you know, we're talking Same, 50 to 100K. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Check this out, just pick this up. Sports Illustrated, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sports Illustrated first cover Mike uh, Mike Tyson ever did right here. This was before he was champion. Super crazy stuff. I've got so much stuff in the store. And so we're gonna be doing like a big glass case to start showcasing this stuff the right way. So Mr. Ninja Turtle, he's the guy who guards everything. You're trying to steal, you're trying to do anything shit like this. Whoa, baby, oh, so it's done. He's got swords. So you ain't stealing. I'm here, boy. We got the Supreme Bowling Ball with the bait pin. So if you want to play, uh, you know, $500 to a $1,500 bowling, we can do that here. You know, it's up to you. Little baby shoes, check it out. Shout out to my homie, uh, Heavenly Kicks, because he always hooks me up. Put him in the video, Mr. Heavenly Kicks. He uh, always, when I see that he has these at sneaker cons, I always cop these. He made the, he got the fragments for my son. So these are like customs. Uh, shout out Big A. Put Big A customs in the video, boom, because I need to re-up with him. We are been selling a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of the um, of the phone cases and the bracelets and all that stuff. And uh, this is my fancy lock system right here. Open it up like this. We have three left. So we literally had 15 phone cases, tons of brace, have zero bracelets left and of other stuff. So you know, if you guys know Big A, you know, here's like the wallets that he makes. And these are cell phone cases with walls, Burberry, Dior, and Gucci. He actually takes the real bags, cuts them up, and makes phone cases and stuff. It's crazy. Um, right here, uh, here's like a silver pack. I like to keep investments, like little investments around for people to see. So each one of these are 10 ounce bars. So in the comments below, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33. In the comments well, down below, we have about, what, 330 ounces of silver? Tell me what today's spot price is. What is 330 ounces of silver worth? Each bar, 10 ounce. It's just kind of cool to keep this around because it just, um, you know, with cash, it's so easy to spend, right? And so with this, you know, you're kind of, you're saving something. Um, so we're gonna get enough of that. I like to keep, you know, about ten thousand dollars worth of silver. Put it out, let people see it. Not say that is, but comments down below. Tell me how much are there. Are we close? Are we over? Who knows? Willie Mays signed baseball top chrome F. Uh, this is like the uh, what is that? The Trismo uh, Formula One racing cards. That thing like literally was seven hundred and fifty dollars. The Sapphire edition, unopened box, right? It retails at seven fifty. I think it dropped to like five hundred. I'm screwed right now. So hopefully the market comes back up. <laughs> It'll be worth like a thousand. Um, you know that the best football team is the LA Chargers. Going to the Super Bowl this year. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, we're on our way big time. But I have Gem Mint 10 rookies of Kobe, of course. You know, this card goes for probably around $1,500 to $2,000. But all right here too, Gem Mint 10 Herbert, Gem Mint 10 Herbert, Gem Mint 10 Herbert. Gem Mint and Herbert, Gem Mint and Herbert, Gem Mint and Herbert. All of those cards are rookie card Gem Mint and rookies. Oh, on this side, check this out. Gem Mint and Herbert, Gem Mint and Herbert, Gem Mint and Herbert. Oh, what's hiding down here? Gem Mint Nine Herbert. <laughs> so with the Herbert cards, easily five to ten thousand dollars in uh, his rookie cards they continue to go up in value and the more records he break he just broke um andrew lux through third or three seasons of yards he just broke um peyton manning's first three seasons of touchdowns like literally on pace to be the goat and uh we have a gem mint nine Devin uh, booker in there too and uh this is one of my favorites check this out gem mint 10 Deion sanders rookie card for baseball when he played with the yankees you don't see that very often super cool and I was surprised it wasn't, you know, like a crazy card. It didn't break the bank like crazy. Um, so right now, it's just a normal, what day is it today? Tuesday, Devin? Yeah, Tuesday. So just like a lazy Tuesday. And uh, 
it was kind of cool because that art you can see that I was wearing the same thing in that art segment that we did and uh that came in today and when stuff like that comes in it just it blows my mind like it's just so cool that I have the opportunity to buy those things uh beanies hats all that stuff over here and like I said hoodies just like hoodies on hoodies on hoodies on hoodies on hoodies and then like warm clothes that's where I have here common hype friends and family box when they gave me the hat um a couple more it's not the hat what it's not the hat the hat's right there oh that's not where you pointed the hat yeah, that's the hat. Yeah, that's the hat. I thought you pointed out the old one. This is the box that that hat came in. <laughs> so, <laughs> the friends and family hat right there. And then, uh, you know, we got Austin awesome 316 and the rock right there. The rock with the slam. And then we got the stunner right there with the thing. Boom. We just kick him in the face and then take him down. Ah! Boom. And that's how we roll around here. Check it out. The I remember when 2J's Kick did the video when he went to Fat Joe's house. And um, if you haven't watched that, go check it out. He had 1,317 pairs in his like garage or something in Miami, right? This one was kind of falling apart and it was a shoe that uh, he gave to Big A or I think Big A bottom. I mean, you know what I mean? It's like all the shoes that were kind of really falling apart and you know, made it look amazing and new again, considering it was sitting in a garage in Miami. So this was worn by Fat Joe um, as it signed, authenticity, all that stuff. Very cool, right? So. I have it like this right now. I'm going to, again, plan on having like a big glass case to showcase all this stuff the proper way. But right now, like, I mean, look it up here. We have a freaking canoe over here, a painting. Shout out little mamas who did that. We have, you know, just every corner. Look up here. We have the Don C's with a big box up here. We have three boxes up over there of the packs. Come back this way. We got the ore for the canoe back there. I mean, if you just pan around this shop, man, like you can't, there's not a corner. It's just like stacked, you know, and the back is the back with just inventory. I'm not going to bring you back there right now. It's kind of pointless. But, um, so yeah, dunks on dunks. Didn't bring you on this side yet. So all the dunks, you can see pandas, blah, 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 all different kinds. We have those two paintings that we showed you here. I have mids and Jordan Lowe's all on here. So when you guys come and shop at Sneaker Flavors, we have shoes ranging anywhere from 150 all the way up to $7,000 um for all price ranges we have yeezys jordans highs lows all the different shoes different streetwear if we don't got it we can get it for you thank you guys for uh watching or you know just following along this long if you watched the last video of where we came from and like where the store was at that point and like especially just the stuff on the walls super crazy to where we are now so thank you guys so much if you haven't liked comment subscribe please do so aaron and i have a lot of plans uh this uh year for content we're gonna do a lot of behind the scenes stuff where we're just gonna have the camera rolling a lot of you guys who do watch this content i believe want to start a store or they want to learn how to resell better or they want to go ahead and build their brand or companies right so with us opening another store this year we just, we're going to have a lot of behind the scenes stuff, which I think you guys are going to gain a lot of value of uh, from. And uh, we're going to obviously take you everywhere we go. We, you know we travel a lot, and so we're going to take you guys along. But I feel like I've talked too much, so thank you guys. <laughs> Please be on a like, like, comment, subscribe. Please do so. Other than that, I'm sure Aaron already took you around and showed you some crazy B-roll footage of that. But, you know, hey, maybe show them some more. Peace.